<laughs> this is a big day for a lot of young readers. A book that's being called This Year's Harry Potter will be released today. We're talking about The Last Olympian. It's the final installment of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. Joining us this morning to talk about it all is the book's author, Rick Riordan. Thanks for being with us, Rick. It's my pleasure, and hello. My wife was born and raised in Rochester, hey. so it's very good to talk with you. All right. Nice to talk with you as well. Okay, we are reading here the book. We just said it's going to be released today, but it is already number 10 on Amazon.com. That was days ago. It's clear that you really know your audience in order to be successful. Tell us a little bit about how you know this 8 to 12-year-old set of readers quite well. Well, I was a classroom teacher for a number of years. I taught middle school, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade for 15 years. Uh, but what really started the Percy Jackson series was my son. When he was in elementary school, he was having a tough time reading. But he did like Greek mythology, and he mm. started asking me to tell him bedtime stories. And Percy Jackson grew out of that, a story of a modern-day demigod. That's interesting. I remember when I was a kid, I loved Greek mythology and all of that. I mean, it really kind of piqued my interest. Um, you write for that set of kids, uh, the age group, that is often overlooked when it comes to literature. Uh, we did a story uh, here in Rochester at a teen book festival, and there were those tweens that just really, they didn't really fit into the adult. They weren't kids. They were just in that middle area. So you're just on the fringe of that. Do you feel like you're serving an important segment of the population with with uh, literature well I hope so it is a difficult age to go through and, and it's definitely a difficult age to find good books uh, for these kids so uh, as a middle school teacher that was always something that I struggled with and I, and I hope that the Percy Jackson books are a series that will bridge that gap and, and give something uh, to kids that maybe aren't readers normally mm -hmm. or who don't like picking up books. So that's my hope, and uh, so far uh, we've been pretty successful with it. Uh, backtracking for just a second, if there's some viewers out there who don't have some 8 to 12-year-olds right now or, or some kids who are reading your books, briefly tell us, and I know it's hard to sum this up, but uh, what this series is about for them. Well, Percy Jackson is uh, 12 years old when The Lightning Thief, the first book, begins. He has never known his father. He assumes his father is dead. He finds out uh, that his father is actually a Greek god. The Greek gods are still around, even though we don't believe in them anymore. They're still hanging around modern America. And their sons and daughters have to go on quests like the heroes of old. So Percy has to go on all these heroic quests battling Greek monsters across the United States. Uh, and it's been a, quite a ride for Percy Jackson. And finally, in The Last Olympian, he turns 16, and he has to make a decision that saves or destroys the world. So wow. this is the last installment, but you're not done, are you? Well, a lot of readers have said, no, please, you can't possibly end it at five. We're just getting yeah. into the series. And they've, they've talked about all the characters in the series that I haven't really developed yet. And, and they had a good point. So what I'm going to do is in about a year, I'll launch a second Camp Half-Blood series, Camp Half-Blood being the camp on Long Island where the young demigods mm. train. So you may see some of the original characters mm -hmm. from the Percy series in that as well. Okay, I got to so ask you. So it won't you. be the total in. Okay, mm -hmm. because I loved Harry Potter. I'll admit it. All right? I was one of those people that read the books and stayed up waiting for the book to, uh, I lie, actually, sure. I, waited. I, went to the I went the next day. But <laughs> what about movie rights to this book? I mean, is there a chance this uh, may one day be in the movie theaters? Well, better than a chance. In fact, they're filming The Lightning Thief right now. Uh, Chris Columbus, who directed the first two Harry Potter films, oh, is also doing The Lightning Thief. Interesting. And, and they're That's filming a big it now. Stars, in fact, right? I'll, I'll be on a, yeah, yeah. I'll be on set uh, Thursday, actually, and it should be out in the theaters February 2010. So keep your fingers crossed. Who are the a who are the actors? Any notables? Any young stars we yeah, know? Yeah, some of the uh, some of the actors. There's there's a huge cast, okay. but uh, some of the more notable ones. Uh, Pierce Brosnan is going to be Chiron, the centaur, who's the trainer of heroes and Medusa <laughs> will be played by Uma Thurman. Wow, that sounds awesome. Great actors. Hey, oh, it much be a success lot of fun. to you. Thank you so much. It was nice talking with you. Nice Tell talking your wife to you. we said hello yes. from Rochester. And you're welcome back anytime. Anytime. <laughs> Thank you. All Thank right. you. We'll be right back.